Hi everyone, it's David from Medimatch. I hope you're doing well. Um, today's video is going to be about uh, getting set up with a MeditLink account and installing the software. Um, we're going to assume that you've already taken delivery of your Medit i500 or i700 scanner. Now this proce process should take around about 30 minutes internet connection speed depending. Um, so if you wanted to delegate this to a, a dental nurse or an assistant, um, that's how long roughly it will take. I've opened up a web browser here. I'm going to go to meditlink.com. Okay, I'm going to click this login button up here. And I'm going to click don't have an account. Okay, so you've got a couple of options here on the clinic side. Um, you've got an administrator account and you've got a member account. Um, so if this is the first time you set up a, uh, a Medit scanner, um, and it's the first one in your clinic, then set up as an administrator. If you have subsequent uh, scanners or, or subsequent members of staff who'd like their own account, you can set them up as a member and, and give them access to your, your clinic. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do administrator. Okie dokie, so the first thing you need to do is put in your, your clinic name. Now this is how you will be seen by dental labs or anybody searching for you in the medit system. Um, so we need to put, put your name in. So I'm going to call myself as a demo um, DC Dental UK. And it's important that you click check, avail check availability. Okay, so that name is available. It's not been used by anybody else. Um, if for any reason this wasn't available, somebody else had used it, it would give you the opportunity to try another name until there is one available that you can use. Okay, so I'm going to click use. I'm going to put my name in. Okay, I'm going to put in my email address. Now this email address um, must be new to the Medit system. Um, it can't have been used elsewhere in any other registration. Okay, and we need to click check to make sure. Oops, good if I uh, spelt it right. Um, to check that it hasn't been used elsewhere in the Medit system. So that's okay. If it had, it would give you a cross and you'd have to put a different email address in. Okay, the next thing is to uh, create a new password. It must be between 8 and 16 characters long, a um, combination of at least three letters, numbers, and a special character. Okay, so go ahead and do that. And confirm it. Okay, and select country. Uh, Okay, so um, agree to the terms and conditions as you see fit. This one's mandatory, this one's mandatory, this one's for marketing, um, etc. So I just tick agree to them all and click register. So it's going to be setting up as DC Dental UK with my name and this email address. Okay, so we're going to click OK. Okay, so this email will take uh, usually about 10 minutes to come through. Um, once it does come through, um, we will uh, click on the verification link that's in, in the email, and that will bring us back to uh, the Medit login page. I'll, uh, I'll see you when that email comes through. Okay, so we've received the email from uh, Medit link. Um, you can see that there's a verify email address button here that we need to a click. Um, just a word and note, a note on this. Um, this this email may go into your junk or spam folder, so please check there um, if it if it doesn't appear in your inbox. Um, also, this must be clicked. This button must be clicked within 24 hours. Um, other, otherwise, your email address and the name of your organisation will be removed from the system, and you'll have to start the registration process over again. Okay, so we'll click verify email address, and we can go to login now. Okay, so we're now going to put in our information that we've just registered with. And if we keep the uh, tick this, keep me logged in, you won't have to install uh, put in this information every time we uh, we log in. Okay, so these uh, these pop-ups here um, come up when you log in, when there's any new announcements or any updates available. 
<coughs> or, or pending updates. Um, so we can just close these for now. Okay, so we're just going to finish the uh, the setup account process. And click this button here. Okay, so uh, all this information is mandatory, so we're going to go ahead and we are going to fill it in. Okay, so you must put in the office as well. I wasn't sure. Okay. Uh, try and remember the, uh, <laughs> the phone number now. Good chance to show you the MediMatch website. <laughs> Okay, finally got that. So we click save. Okay, so they're going to ask you for some more information here. Um, you can go in and uh, fill in all this information if you wish. Um, it's entirely up to you, or you can skip it. I'm going to skip it here. Um, same here, they want to know the size of your clinic, uh, number of dentists, um, number of chairs, that sort of stuff. Um, again, more than welcome to fill it in, but I'm going to skip it for now. Okay, so we're pretty much done. Okay, so we can now uh, click on this icon here to download Medilink. Okay, so that's just started off the, uh, uh, the download for the latest version of Medilink. Um, it usually takes around 5, 10, 15 minutes depending on your connection speed. Um, so we'll let that download and I will pick, you, pick it back up again uh, when it's done. Okay, so we're back and uh, the software, the installation files have downloaded. Okay, um, I should have said before that this uh, takes about 1.2 gigs, so just bear that in mind when you're thinking about space on your system. Okay, so let's get rid of this. Close these again, and we're going to uh, click on the, uh, the download. Okay. <clears throat> So I'll click yes here. Select your language. Okay. So the setup requires an additional 7.5 gig. Agree. So we now need to uh, restart our system um, to make sure everything works correctly. So we'll go ahead and do this. Okay, so we've restarted our system, everything's been installed, and we've now got the Medit Link icon on our desktop. 
Okay. What I like to do is I like to drag it onto the bottom bar, so you've got a quick uh, a quick start down here, um, and then you just need to click the icon once to to load the software. Okay, so the software's opened, and um, we just need to put in our registration details. Um, and we can click the Remember Me button so you don't have to log in every time. And click Login. Okay, just like logging in on the uh, browser, it will flash up with any new uh, update information or any notices. Um, so we can close this for now. And that's it. We've now got uh, Medit Link installed um, and ready to run. Um, in the next video, we'll go through uh, an overview of the user interface, what, what all these buttons do, and uh, how to create a case. Okay, until next time, thank you very much for watching. And uh, don't forget to check out uh, medimatch.co.uk for all of your Medit i500 and i700 scanning needs. Thanks for watching.